This is Miss Sebastian, and we are looking at area of parallelograms. So an area of, area of parallelograms, you need to always use the formula base times height. So on this problem, here is our base. And here is our height. You always want to use the height that is perpendicular to the base. So 22.1 times 10.3. And you can use your handy dandy calculators to multiply 22.1 or 22 and 1 tenth times 10 and 3 tenths. You do get 227 and 63 hundredths, and you always want to put our units there. So it is area, so it is meters squared. Number two, what is the area of this parallelogram? So we're going to find our base. It's both of these together. So I'm going to add those to find our base. So I'm going to add 6 and 5 tenths plus 6 and 9 tenths. So I get that our base down here is actually 13 and 4 tenths. So I know that I've got base times height. So our base is 13 and 4 tenths and our height that is per, uh, sorry perpendicular to the base is 10 and 7 tenths so now i'm going to multiply these two together and i know that my area is 143 and 38 hundredths centimeters squared Number three, what is the area of this figure? Well, it is a parallelogram, and I see that only part of it is mentioned down here. This length is not shown, but it is shown up at the top. So all the way across, I need to add those two again. So I've got area equals base times height. So my base, when I add 12 plus 5, that gives me 17, and the height is 14. You can use your calculator to multiply those. 17 times 14, and that gives me 238. We always have to have our units, so feet squared. Okay, what is the area of the figure? So I see my base is seven and a half. And my height that is perpendicular to the base is five. So I need to change seven and a half to a mixed number, two times seven, is 14 plus 1 is 15 times I'm going to change 5 to an improper fraction as well just so that it's easier to multiply 5 times 15 is 75 2 times 1 is 2 when I simplify that 2 goes into 7 3 times with 1 left over so 2 goes into 15 7 times with 1 left over. And that is square units. So 37 and a half square units. Number 5. What is the area of this figure? 
So they're trying to be tricky tricky with us and not mention the whole length of that base. So you've got to be smart and make sure to add those two together to get the entire length of your base. And it is 12. So then I'm going to multiply 12 times my height, six and a half. So when I multiply 12 by six and a half, I do get that my area of this parallelogram is 78 yards squared. Number six, what is the area of this one? Very straightforward. We've got our base times our height. So our base is 39 and our height is eight. All you have to do is multiply those and you do get 312 meters squared. Number seven, Sophie needs to know the area of her backyard. The backyard is shaped like a parallelogram with a base that measures 24. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite our formula. They told us our base is 24 and our height is 18. What is the area? So all I have to do is multiply those together and I get that the area is 432 and this is meters squared. Number eight, the floor in Jean's garage is shaped like a parallelogram with a base of six and a height of seven. What is the area of the garage floor? So I always write my formula first. It says the base is six and the height is seven. When I multiply six times seven, I get 42 and I need the units that is meters. Area is always squared. 